I am Obina Benafsi Mokacha. I'm the founder of Physical Future. We recruit youth from the street, away from the street, through sports, through education and all that, just to get them away from the street through drug dealings and um, high risk that you come across every day in London. We integrate them through active sports, we give them try to get them into training, into education, get them back possibly into work. South of main, our main operation is from Swift Road Outdoor Centre and St. John's Church. We work as well with the mosque and the Hindu temple because South Old, we have so many different faith groups and different communities. Recently, I joined with Young Elim Foundation and South Old Community Alliance to set up a um, South Old Food Hub since the outbreak of COVID. We've been feeding over 300 families twice a week in South Old to try to help people that are going through difficult time at this since the outbreak of COVID and that has really exposed quite a lot of poverty in South Old. So we've been trying to support these families. We still get on with a one-to-one -one contact with most of our members to know how they are getting on and all that and try to advise them about physical activities and how to keep safe in this period. We work with other local community organizations because when we found out that most children haven't got access to laptops, we were working to see how we can get us get laptop from most of our members. Even though it wasn't achieved, but we were able to link some families through other organizations that can support them through laptop to get their children to keep up to their academic work. Since I was introduced to Young Healing Foundation, they've been a very big, I would say big stepping stone. They have really carried us like a baby all throughout. They've guided us, uh, advised, directed us, linked us up with some uh, organization that we can work with. They've helped us, it's taking time, but they've helped us to achieve getting this registration, which I couldn't have done on my own. <laughs> they set up this food project, which it's not, it's so, people, sometimes people just look at it, how it's all working, but the work behind the scene, to get it going, is not that easy. So. Without competition, Sauto wouldn't have had something like this. Uh, we didn't want to set it up initially because we were worried about not getting the charity commission number. But now we've got it. We are establishing, we are establishing our um, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And again, most importantly, our website, which will be up and running soon. If you ask anybody, mainly out of you, will know about this future.